Hey everyone, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, Topic 7.6 on the Reduction of Air Pollutants. So, we start here by thinking about general methods, right? What's the best way? And of course, to reduce something, you have to get rid of the source or reduce the source. So, um, switching to alternative fuels will be a big help on here because most of these pollutants we've been mentioning are going to be from fossil fuels. Um, and of course, having some sort of regulatory practice or conservation method um, that's going to reduce those sources to begin with. So if you can do that, that's going to in general reduce air pollution overall. But of course you have to mention, um, you have to be specific to which source, which we'll go through some of those right now. So we talked about VOCs quite a bit in this unit. Um, remember that VOCs are those chemicals that vaporize. And so in the case of gasoline, right, that is a volatile organic compound. So when you end up pumping that gasoline, um, one of the uh, ways to reduce that is to have a vapor recovery nozzle. So that little cover there prevents that from getting into the atmosphere. And as we saw earlier, VOCs are a big contributor to things like photochemical smog. So if you can reduce that at the source, there you've solved part of that problem. And then, of course, we have other forms of uh, pollutants coming out of uh, vehicles. So uh, most vehicles do do can release carbon monoxide, NOx chemicals, and hydrocarbons, as well as particulate matter. Well, Catalytic converters, what they do is they end up having a couple of precious metals in there and they convert that carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, which is much less of a problem. Um, the NOx chemicals are then converted to N2 and O2, right, which is what is actually in our atmosphere already. And of course, the hydrocarbons can be uh, broken down and split into water molecules. So that's a really good, helpful thing. Now remember, catalytic converters work on vehicles. So that's going to be a good focus on this. So if you're thinking about FRQs, to make sure to think about, well, I can't put a catalytic converter on a factory, right? Uh, but it can work on a car, and that's actually a federal law now, that that has to be included in vehicles. And so another way is to have this is to, be, is to have either a wet scrubber or a dry scrubber. And so that removes the particulate matters and gases from the source in an industry. So if you're talking about a factory of some sort, this would be the way to do this. Um, a dry scrubber can be something like a bag house filter, which is like your old school 1980s and 90s vacuums where the air passes through a bag, or like this diagram here where you have your wet scrubber. Now, think about when you go to the grocery store and they're spraying mist on vegetables and fruits to keep them uh, moist. That's kind of how a wet scrubber works for air pollution. You let that gas pass through, and that's going to end up releasing or capturing some of those particulates and other gases as well. Uh, the downside for this is, of course, you are going to end up having to have uh, water be used, and that water is going to have to be treated later anyway. So you may end up with less air pollution, but now you've deliberately polluted water. So uh, again, pros and cons of everything. And then, of course, here's another good way, um, the electrostatic precipitator. This is where you're going to end up um, in a coal-burning power plant is you basically electrically charge the particles in the air, okay? Um, and when you charge this with either a negative, with a ele negative electrode, and then um, you attach a positive electrode, and once you've, part once you've charged those particles, the positive and the negative attach to each other, and now you've gotten rid of that pollution. Uh, and then you, but the downside is these can be expensive methods, so. Here are some other resources if you'd like to look into those and see uh, a little bit more about air pollution reduction. So hopefully these will be helpful and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.